the last uh, 15 years, we have seen a significant reduction in inequality in, in Latin America. Um, that represent, uh, these are, those are great news for the region. However, we still uh, don't have good answers for, for why this happened. So this represent, at the same time, is a positive, is a positive result, but also implies significant challenges for the design of future public policies. That's the main message. We can identify two areas of uh, important policy recommendations. First, on education. Uh, the increase on enrollment that the region has experienced has not been enough to uh, bring the idea of uh, social mobility. We need to secure quality before moving forward uh, in terms of increasing enrollment. That's point number one. And that's a significant, that represents a significant challenge. Securing quality of education is definitely one of the main priorities for any government in the region for the uh, incoming years. The second one is labor markets. So labor markets, those are, right, the, the sources of heterogeneity, the sources of inequality are allocated, are located there. So we need to improve how they function, how, how efficient they are, how they attract more women to the labor market, how they attract and do um, provide better labor market outcomes for, for young workers. That requires innovation. Uh, the region has uh, uh, tried different things uh, during the last, you know, uh, 50 years, different policies. They have not been effective in increasing enrollment, uh, participation, I'm sorry. And we need to increase, we need to bring uh, vulnerable groups to the labor market, in particular, uh, young workers and females. And not only that, we also need to secure they're going to be receiving um, better outcomes in terms of wages. Uh, that's, that's also part of the challenges. We know that innovation is a driving force for progress, right? And uh, private entities uh, innovate every day. Families innovate every, on a daily basis, right? Governments, public policies, they need to innovate as well. So, of course, technology, we're facing a significant change in the way uh, we use technology in the labor market, in, the labor, uh, in our jobs, in our occupations. And that's something that needs to be considered when it comes to future public policies. So you need to make the labor market to adjust better to the changes, and, and that will imply it, making sure that those individuals that are now uh, being attracted to the labor market, they have the right skills, they have the right abilities, they are able to handle the new technology. That's the secret for the next uh, round of reforms in terms of labor markets reforms. Mm -hmm. The idea here is, sure, private entities are innovating. We will have more and better technology, no question about it, right? The issue is whether or not public policies will be able to adjust to the new uh, situation, to the new circumstances. Uh, are they going to be able to provide individuals with the right skills? Uh, is there a labor market legislation able to handle the new forms of occupations, for example. That innovation is something we haven't seen in the region in the past, and it represents, again, the main challenge uh, looking forward. Mm -hmm.